Hi folks, uh, I've been meaning to do this for a couple of days but I wanted to show you the apple blossoms uh, in, in my street um, there's one over there as well uh, and I just thought they were really beautiful and I meant to do it earlier on today uh, when it was sunny, it was sunny earlier on today uh, the sun was shining, it's nice and warm uh, but now it's starting to rain, flipping heck actually, sorry, wait Oh great, now I'm going to have to go back indoors again. Uh, right. Okay folks, um, bear with me a minute. So, yeah, I've been trying to show, I was going to do this earlier on today. Um, oh, sorry, uh, let me go, well, I'll do it from my kitchen window. Um, because uh, it's starting to rain uh, and I've been looking at them for the last couple of days uh, and it's like I kept on thinking like wow they look so especially in the sunshine you know what I mean when it was nice and sunny and they look so beautiful um, and we've got like about three or four of them or whatever in our street there and uh, it's like I kept on looking out the kitchen window and I kept on thinking oh I must film them I must film them because they look so beautiful and apple blossom it's really nice do you know what I mean when when it's you know it's sort of springtime and the apple blossom comes hang on sorry I'm gonna just turn the light out for one second so I can right hang on bear with me <laughs> so yeah um, oh great it's gone all blurry oh there must be a ghost present apparently according to some youtubers um, sorry I've just been watching the I'm not I won't mention uh, what's them but I've been just watching someone and they're, they're sort of saying like, oh my camera's gone really blurry, uh, oh that usually means there's a ghost there, it means that there's a ghost, that's why it won't focus. Uh, no, that's probably not what it is. <laughs> it's more than likely because it's to do with the light, because his friend, his camera light was shining at him, uh, so his friend's over on one side there, they're in some woods or forest or whatever, and so like the camera light's shining in his direction and he's pointing his in this direction and it's to do with the light you know what I mean it's to do with the way the light and the way the uh, lens works in a camera I mean I don't pretend to fully understand it do you know what I mean I don't I'm not technical or not but I do understand that like the uh, you know the, the change in light because of the way the the aperture works and, and to do with the the focus thing and all that kind of and obviously some cameras have got better autofocus stuff and all that lot and blah 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 um, but basically uh, unlike our eyes I mean it's like motion blur I mean it's the same sort of principle with motion blur you know when if I spin this camera around really really fast I don't want to do it too fast because I don't want to get you guys feeling a bit ill or me, or me. Um, but you know it's to do with camera blur if, if I spin around or if I move my head from side to side very quickly uh, I don't get motion blur my eyes because the way my eyes work obviously the way our eyes work um, it's very very clever and it's unlike a camera uh, as sophisticated and as technical as they're getting do you know what I mean still suffers from uh, motion blur uh, whereas we don't um, because of the way our eyes work God, why did I get into this all of a sudden why I'm talking about the flipping trees outside and now I'm getting into a conversation about flipping cameras and the way our eyes work and oh, I don't have to go off on tangents me right anyway sorry yes so back to the trees never mind the flipping ghost cameras and flipping whatever right uh, see, I can't know if it's still raining or not is it still raining I bet it was just like a little mini shower or something just a mini dribble whatever you want to call it I don't know should I go back out or uh, anyway so yeah uh, when it was sunny they look so pretty they look so beautiful uh, and like I said there's one over there there's one here right in front of me right next to our house there's one here Ooh, sorry I thought I knocked the cup over there I don't know if there's one right at the bottom there I can't remember I don't think there is but we've got at least three I think maybe possibly four but they look so pretty, do you know what I mean, in the, in the, in the sunshine particularly, um, they look amazing, uh, so, and I, like I said, I, I wanted to film them, you see, I wanted to film them, I wanted to make a little 
video about them because like they look so nice but I got carried away with editing uh, another video that you're going to see shortly you'll see that one first because it's uploading as we speak to YouTube and it shouldn't take too long it's only a six minute video uh, and it's me dancing in my garden this is the video I was talking about uh, about a, almost a week ago now um, I think round about a week ago I think it was uh, and it was just <coughs> excuse me sorry oops Ooh, yeah, talk to the ceiling whilst I'm uh, what's that um, <laughs> sorry um, yeah so uh, yeah um, it was just just me trying to express myself um, in, in a more positive way rather than self-destructive so uh, yeah so I'm dancing now uh, that's the other thing as well by the way so when you watch it you might think like because like it was early hours of the morning I'm positive it was I can't remember exactly what time of the, the, the night it was but it was definitely early hours of the, the morning and like it looks like I'm singing at the top of my head but I'm not I'm actually just mouthing the words I'm actually just almost like miming so because I was conscious of the fact that like obviously my neighbours are right there and I don't want to be waking people up and do you know what I mean <clears throat> I don't I don't do stuff like that you know what I mean that's like you know, I, uh, I respect my neighbours and, do you know what I mean, it's like, I might not really speak to them very much and I might not very, know them very, right well, I know a couple of them to say hello to, do you know what I mean, but other than that, you know what I mean, uh, but still, you know, I, I wouldn't want them making tons of noise and disturbing me if I'm trying to sleep and so I give them the same, same respect back, you know what I mean, so I don't want to be disturbing people, uh, so I'm not actually singing, uh, but it looks like I'm singing. But I'm not, I'm just... <laughs> anyway, right. So, just another little silly video. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys those beautiful trees. Because uh, as some of my regulars might know, I've mentioned this many times before. And I've hugged trees, because I love trees, I do. I absolutely love trees. I, I think they're amazing. Um, you know, because you think about it, how long some of them live and how big some of them get. Do you know what I mean? And, and you just think about it, 200, 300 years, some obviously in other parts of the world, even longer than that, but, you know, sort of like an average of two to 300 years. You know what I mean? I mean, fling, flipping heck. Do you know what I mean? If they could talk, what the stories they could tell us, eh? Do you know what I mean? It's like, wow. But they're just amazing anyway. I just love trees. I think they're amazing because I, I actually feel a lot... I feel really, really calm around trees. Um, when there's a lot of trees around me, I actually feel a lot calmer uh, and a lot more... I don't know. It's hard to explain it, really. Uh, but I feel more in touch with something. Uh, I don't know what that is, but, you know, uh, I love trees. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you the trees uh, because, like, they're so pretty and beautiful and... Uh, I meant to go out earlier, like I said, but and now the clouds come over, so they're not looking as I don't know. They're still beautiful and they're still gorgeous to look at, but when they're in the sunlight, they just it just seemed to accentuate that that uh, beauty, I, I guess. So okay, right. I'm just gonna leave it there for now, I think, because uh, I'm gonna have some tea. Uh, I'm gonna do myself. Uh, a generic tin of spaghetti bolognese from Tesco's. So, yeah, uh, it's not bad. You know, it was, I think they're about, what was it, 20p? I think they're 20p, but I might be wrong. They might be a bit more, maybe 30p, but they're not They're not expensive. They're, it's really cheap. Um, it's just a generic brand of, of what's the name. And then, of course, I've got my... Heinz tomato ketchup. Ooh, can't be doing without that. Hey, <laughs> I love my tomato sauce. Absolutely love it. Um, so I'll be adding some of that to it as well. You see, uh, to sort of just make it taste a little bit nicer. Right. Yes, I know. I keep waffling and waffling and uh, whatever. So right. Okay, folks. So for now, I'm going to leave it there, and I shall catch you guys later. Bye for now. <laughs>